Welcome to Yoga Upload. I'm Maris Aylward. Today's video is a well-rounded vinyasa flow intermediate yoga practice. The class is around 56 minutes long and I recommend this for intermediate level and strong beginners who have some experience in yoga and are familiar with most of the basic poses because we'll do minimal cues for the basic poses here. This is great for improving strength, balance, flexibility, as well as promoting relaxation and mental focus. It's a well-rounded routine. We'll do our standing flow series, back bends, forward folds, hip openers, twists, side bends, and of course, our supine and seated poses. We'll end with six minutes of Shavasana and close the practice together. Please read the description box below for more information about this sequence and that way you know what to expect and you have a better experience with this class. As always, do what you can, rest when you need to, and enjoy your practice. Begin in mountain pose at the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Stand nice and tall, palms together in front of the heart, close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breathing. For now, not controlling or changing the breath, simply observe the natural flow of your inhale and your exhale. Take three cleansing breaths. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth, big sigh. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Keep the mouth closed now, continue with the deep breathing. Keep listening to that sighing sound, lightly constricting the back of your throat for your ujjayi breath. Blink your eyes open and we'll start our flow. Half sun salutation. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep the knees soft. Slowly roll up to stand. Once you're up, reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, back to mountain pose. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to your first downward facing dog and take a few moments to settle into your pose. Maybe walk the feet in place, shake the head no, make sure the neck is relaxed. Pause your movement, down dog to plank waves. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, wave forward to plank. Inhale, pause and plank. Exhale, wave back to down dog. Two more times. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wave back. One more. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave forward. Pause here, this time drop the knees to the mat, lower down for a modified Chaturanga. Inhale, come up for Cobra. Exhale back to Downward Facing Dog, pause for a few moments here. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, Warrior One, plant your back heel down, come up, reach the arms up. Gaze forward or add a back bend, lift the heart, lift the gaze and breathe. If you are looking up, look forward again. Bring the hands down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Wave forward to your plank. This time, keep the knees up. Lower down for Chaturanga Dandasana. Hug the elbows in. Inhale, lift up for Cobra. Or if you feel ready, upward facing dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Other side. Left leg up. 
Step your left foot forward, plant the back heel down for a warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Reach the arms up. Gaze forward or up, lift the heart. Look forward again. Bring the hands down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Vinyasa. Wave forward to plank. Your choice. Knees down or knees up. Lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale Cobra or straight to upward facing dog. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Look forward at the hands, either walk, step, or hop the feet forward to forward fold, feet hip distance apart. We'll linger here. Relax the neck and the head. If it feels good, cup the elbows, sway side to side. Keep the breath going. If you have your elbows, let them go. Exhale, slowly roll up, using your core for support. Once you're up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms together, mountain pose, Tadasana. Continue the flow. Inhale, reach the arms up, standing back bend, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to downward facing dog, stay here, or Vinyasa. Wave forward to your plank. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Core planks. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, round your back. Again, inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, knee to chest. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale, really push the floor away. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, right leg back and up, exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge, drop your left knee down to the mat, come up for Anjaneyasana, reach the arms up. We'll add on a variation, bring the palms together, bend the elbows, reach your thumbs towards your upper back. Nice opening across the front of the body. Keep the breath going. Release. Bring the hands down to the mat. Sit the hips back for half splits. Keep the front foot engaged. Keep the hips level. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold over the front leg. Feel the lengthening in the back of that right thigh. Soften the face, no unnecessary tension here. Take one more full breath. And carefully ease out of your pose. Bend the front knee again for a lunge. Lift the back knee. Reach the right arm up. Runner's twist. To work the legs more, stay light on the left fingertips. Maybe even lift the left hand up to play with balance. Release the right hand down, turn to face the left side of your mat, the long edge. Wide-legged forward fold, turn your toes in, keep your knees soft, relax the upper body. Hands either on the legs, the ankles, or the sides of the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold a little deeper, gently pull the elbows out to the sides. Reach the sitting bones up as you spread them apart. Let the head hang heavy and breathe. Release the hands, get ready to come up. Hands on hips, come all the way up to stand. Find warrior two on the right. Turn your right foot out, bend the right knee, stretch the arms out to the sides. Virabhadrasana two. One more breath. Reverse warrior. Turn the right palm up, right arm up. 
Gaze in any direction that feels good for your neck. On your next inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten the right leg, reach to the right, move the arms. Hands reach in opposite directions. Keep the sides of the torso long. Keep the breath flowing. On your next inhale, release. Bend the front knee, come to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Stay or your vinyasa. We'll do everything on the other side. Core plank, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, round your spine. Inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Last two, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, step the left foot forward, low lunge, drop the right knee down to the mat, reach the arms up, Anjaniasana. Add that back bend variation, palms together, bend the elbows, reach your thumbs towards the upper back, lift the heart, soften the face, and breathe. Release. Bring the hands down to the mat, half splits, shift your hips back, straighten the front leg, level the hips. On your exhale, fold over the front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Breathe through the sensations that come up. Last few moments here. Carefully, mindfully ease out of your pose. Bend your front knee to lunge. Lift the back knee. Runner's twist. Reach your left arm up. Stay light on that right hand, maybe just on the fingertips. Or play with your balance. Lift the right hand off the ground. Steady gaze at one spot. Release the left hand down. Turn to face the right side of your mat. Wide-legged forward fold, this time with the first three fingers wrapped around the big toes, Padangustasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Let the head relax and breathe. In the next few seconds, release the big toes, hands on hips, come all the way up to stand. Warrior two on the left side, turn the left foot out, bend the left knee, Virabhadrasana two. Press down evenly on both feet, strong arms. Reverse warrior, left palm up, left arm up. Rest your right hand lightly on the back leg. On your next inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana, straight legs, reach to the left, move the arms. Rest your left hand on your shin, foot, or floor. Last few seconds. On your next inhale, come back up to your warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog or vinyasa. Wave forward to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your knees down, set up for forearm plank. 
Forearms on the ground, stack your shoulders directly over your elbows, strong core, walk the feet back, long line from your heels to the crown of your head. Keep the breath going here. Stay strong, a few more seconds. And release, hips and knees down, untuck the toes, sphinx pose. Press the hips and pubic bone down to lift the chest. Another set of your forearm plank. When you're ready, tuck the toes under, lift up, hips and knees up. Do the same posture, or if you'd like more challenge, bring the feet closer together then lift the right leg up. Keep everything else the same. Last efforts. And switch sides, left leg up. Keep the hips level, strong core, almost there. And release. Second set of your sphinx pose, hips and knees down, untuck the toes. Stay here or for a deeper back bend, Seal pose, lift the elbows off the ground. Feel the nice opening across the front of the body. If it's too much, bring the elbows back down to the mat. Release, bring the elbows down. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Stay there or vinyasa. Come to plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Look forward at the hands. Walk, step, or hop the feet forward. Forward fold will stay here. Feet hip distance apart. Relax the upper body. Any variation you'd like to do, cupping the elbows or maybe wrapping your arms behind the legs. Few more breaths. Relax the arms, keep the knees soft, slowly roll up to stand. Once you're up, inhale, reach the arms up, standing back bend, lift the heart. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Continue the flow. Inhale, reach the arms up, standing back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Step back to downward facing dog. Stay here or flow through your own version of vinyasa. From downward facing dog, prepare for core plank twist. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Roll the hips open to the right. Bend the right knee for three-legged dog. Core plank twist. On your exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow. Again, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Three more. Inhale, exhale, twist. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Last one, inhale. Exhale, twist. Pause here. Extend the right leg through to the left. Plant the back foot down and reach your left arm up. Push the floor away with the feet and the right hand. Keep the hips lifted. And release your left hand down. Find your down dog with the right leg floating up. Step the right foot forward for low lunge. Drop your left knee down to the mat. Come up for Anjaneyasana. Reach the arms up. Add a side stretch. Take your left wrist. Reach the left arm up. Side stretch to the right. Feel the lengthening on the left side of the body. One more breath. Come back to the center. Bring the hands down for half splits. Shift the hips back, straighten the front leg. Stay here or as the body allows, 
move towards a deeper expression, toward full splits, Hanumanasana. Very carefully slide the front heel forward and the back knee back in equal amounts to keep the hips level, maintain the length of your spine, breathe through the sensations here. Only going to that place that feels right for you. Last few moments. Ever so carefully ease out of your pose, bend your front knee again, prepare for standing splits. Fingertips on the floor, step your back foot forward. When you're ready, lift the back leg up as high as you can. At the same time, bow your torso towards your right standing leg. For extra challenge, bring your right hand anywhere on your right leg, maybe even both hands to that standing leg. Be patient with your balance here. One more breath. And release, bring the back foot down to lunge and turn to face the right side, the long edge of your mat. Wide-legged forward fold. This time, walk your hands forward as far as you can go. Pause at your edge and let the chest melt towards the floor. Relax the neck and the head. Keep a soft bend in the knees. Keep the breath flowing. And slowly walk the hands back. Hands on hips, come all the way up to stand. Find your warrior two again, Vira Bhadrasana two on the right side. One more breath. Come into your side angle, Pashmakonasana, right elbow on the right thigh, reach your left arm up over the ear. Keep leaning that top arm back. Moving on, bring the right hand down on the outside of the right foot, maintaining everything else. From here, we'll set up for balancing half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Bring your left hand to your left hip for now. Look down at the floor. Step your back foot closer. Move your right hand forward so it's under your right shoulder. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. And your left arm up. One spot gaze. Keep the breath going. Last few moments, stay strong. Carefully release, bend the standing leg, come back to a warrior two, let that go. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Find your downward facing dog with the right leg lifted up for a one-legged vinyasa. Come to plank. Exhale, lower down one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, both feet down for upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. We'll do everything on the other side. Core plank twist. Inhale, left leg up. Roll the hips open to the left. Bend the left knee for three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your left knee to your right elbow. Twist. Continue. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, left knee to right elbow, pause here, extend that left leg through to the right, plant the back heel down, reach the right arm up, lift the hips. And release that right hand down to the mat, find your down dog with your left leg floating up, look at the hands and step your left foot forward. For low lunge, Anjaneyasana, bring the right knee down to the mat. Rise up, arms up. At a side stretch, take your right wrist, reach your right arm up, and bend towards the left. Feel the lengthening in the right side of the body. Come back to the center, bring the hands down to the mat for half splits. Shift your hips back, straighten the front leg. 
Stay in your half splits or move towards a deeper expression. Slide your front heel forward, your back knee back the same amount. Maintain level hips and long spine. Be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself in this one. Last few seconds. Carefully, mindfully ease out of your pose. Bend the front leg, standing splits, hands on the floor. Begin to lift the back leg up. Bow your torso towards your left standing leg. Bringing your face closer to your left knee. Maybe bring the left hand on the leg or both hands on the leg. One spot gaze, steady breath, steady pose. Almost there, stay with it. Carefully release, bring the back foot down to lunge. From here, turn to face the right side of your mat. Wide legged forward fold again. This time, walk the hands back as far as you can go. Relax the neck and the head completely. Take a few breaths here. We'll start to release, walk the hands forward again, hands on hips, come all the way up to stand. Warrior two, Vira Badrasana two on the left side. Side angle pose, Parshva Konasana, left elbow to left thigh, right arm up over the ear. Keep pressing the right foot down, maintaining a long line from your right heel to your right fingertips. Adding on, bring the left hand down on the outside edge of the left foot. Get ready for balancing half moon, right hand to right hip. Look down to the floor, step the back foot closer. Move the left hand forward, place it under your shoulder. Lift the right leg up, lift the right arm up. Keep the hips, the knee, and the toes facing the right side of your mat, not the floor. Breathe through it. Carefully release. Find your warrior two once again. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. One-legged vinyasa with your left leg floating up. Come to plank. Lower down one leg at chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Get ready for another round of forearm planks with different variations this time. Let's set up. Bring your forearms down to the ground, shoulders directly over your elbows. Strong core. This time, place the feet wider than usual. Keep the legs engaged. Keep the hips level. Now try this out. Lift your left arm up. Reach the fingertips forward. Release it down. Try the other side. Right arm up. Release it down. Do a few more times on each side all the while maintaining level hips, keep the core strong, keep the neck long, and most important of all, breathe. Go at your own pace. Keep the lower body as steady as possible. And after you've done both sides equally, release the hips down for Sphinx Pose or Seal Pose and breathe. Let's try another round. 
set up for your plank, feet wider than hip distance apart, engage the quads, keep the hips level, draw the belly in, keep the neck long, left arm up, and right arm up. Keep your gaze steady. A few more times on each side. Anytime you need to take a break, drop the knees to the mat and pause, and continue with the movement when you're ready. Try one or two more on each side. And release the sphinx or seal. Soften any tension that might have accumulated in the face, the neck, or the shoulders. And breathe. Let all of that go. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Stay there or vinyasa. Assess your energy level at this point and decide what's right for you in the moment. From down dog, look forward at the hands, walk, step, or hop, forward, fold, feet, hip distance apart. Any variation you'd like, cup elbows, arms behind the legs, or maybe padahastasana, hands under the feet. Slide your palms under the feet, toes touching the wrists. Bend your knees if you need to, to get the backs of the hands on the floor. On an exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides, fold deeper. Let the head hang heavy and breathe. In the next few seconds, release the hands, keep the knees soft, slowly roll up to stand. Once you're up, reach the arms up, inhale for a standing back bend, lift the heart. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, arms up, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to downward facing dog. Stay here or vinyasa. Let's meet in downward facing dog for the last core plank variation, core plank sliders. Right leg up, roll the hips open to the right, bend the right knee. On your exhale, bring the right knee to the right forearm, slide it up as you round your back, slide it down, and back to your three-legged dog. Try that again. Bring the right knee to the right forearm, slide it up, slide it down, and back to three-legged dog. Three more times. Slide it up, slide it down. Two more. Exhale, right knee to right arm, up, down, three-legged dog, last one, back to three-legged dog, from here find your half pigeon pose, bring your right knee towards the right wrist, bring the back knee down, untuck the back toes, maintain level hips, make sure there's no pain in the knees, cobra waves, fingertips on the floor, inhale, lift the chest, wave up, exhale, wave down. Two more, inhale, wave up, exhale, wave down. One more, inhale, exhale, wave down and stay down. Relax your forehead, either on your forearms or on your mat. Stay present to the sensations that come up, especially in the hips. Relax any unnecessary tension that might be in the face, the neck, or the shoulders. No wasted energy here. Keep the breath flowing.
Take one more full breath. Slowly ease out of your pose, lift your head, come up, walk the hands back. Once you're up, lean slightly to the right to bring the left leg forward. Either do a simple cross-legged seat with the left leg in front of the right leg or a double pigeon with the left leg stacked on top of the right leg. Stack ankles and knees, flex the feet, add a side stretch. Reach the right arm up, side stretch towards the left. Keep the hips rooted to the mat. Enjoy the stretch in the right side of the body. Last few seconds. Release, come back to the center. Retrace your steps back to downward facing dog. Bring that left leg back, plant the palms. Find your down dog with the right leg floating up. One-legged vinyasa if you like. Back to downward facing dog for the other side. Inhale, left leg up, roll the hips open to the left, bend the left knee for three-legged dog. On your exhale, core plank sliders. Bring your left knee to your left forearm, slide it up, slide it down, back to three-legged dog. Continue as you slide the knee up, round your back. Three more times. Slide it up, slide it down, back to three-legged dog. Last two. Last one. From three-legged dog, half pigeon on the left, bring your left knee behind your left wrist. Drop the back knee down, untuck the back toes. Maintain level hips. Cobra waves. Fingertips to the floor. Inhale, lift the heart, wave up. Exhale, wave down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, stay down in your sleeping pigeon. Relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. Soften the face. Breathe through the sensations. Last few seconds. Slowly, mindfully come up. Lean to the left, bring the right leg forward. Either cross-legged seat, right leg in front of the left, or double pigeon, stack right leg over the left leg. Flex the feet. Keep the hips rooted down to the mat. Side stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up this time. Exhale, fold to the right. Enjoy the lengthening the left side of the body and breathe. And release, come back to the center. Bring that right leg back. Find your downward facing dog once again. Optional one-legged vinyasa with your left leg floating up. Your last one for the day. Find your last downward facing dog. Take a big cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Big sigh. Bring the knees down to the mat in hero pose. Sit on the heels. Pause a few moments to shake out the hands, the wrists. Notice how you feel. We'll do some neck and shoulder stretches. Reach your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. Bring your hands on the left side of your waist. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And bring the hands on the left side of your waist. Bring the left ear down towards your left shoulder as you keep pressing the right shoulder down. Feel that stretch on the right side of the neck and breathe.
Bring your head back to the center. Release the arms back. Change the way you interlace your fingers. Do your non-habitual way. Squeeze the shoulder blades together again. Bring the hands on the right side of the waist this time. Drop your right ear down towards your right shoulder. Feel the stretch on the left side of the neck. Breathe through the sensations. Last few seconds. Bring the head back to center, release the arms, shake them out. Make your way into a seated bound angle pose, Baddha Konasana. Press the soles of the feet together, let the knees relax to the sides. Hands on the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, fold forward from the hips. Feel the inner thighs, the hips. If you like, go a little bit deeper with each exhale. Walk the hands forward. Soften the face. Take one last breath. Release, come up, plant the feet hip distance apart and roll all the way down to your mat, to your back for bridge pose, set the bandhasana. Press the feet down, lift the hips up, firm the glutes, keep the knees stacked directly over your ankles. Walk the elbows in and interlace your fingers underneath you. Actively press the shoulders and the arms down to lift the chest. Keep the back of your neck long and breathe. Last breath. Release the interlaced fingers. Slowly roll down. Hips come down last. Bring the feet to the edges of your mat. Feet wide for windshield wipers. Move the legs side to side. Feel a nice release in the low back. Bring the legs back to the center for a bridge variation. Press the feet down to lift the hips up, firm the glutes. Walk the elbows in, interlace the fingers. This time, we'll lift the right leg up into the air. Do the best that you can. Actively press the left heel down to keep the hips lifted. Press the arms down to keep the chest lifted. Release the right foot down, switch legs, lift the left leg up, press the right heel down firmly to lift the hips. Stay strong. And release the left foot down, release the hips down, windshield wipers. Come back to the center. We'll prepare for your choice of bridge pose again or wheel pose, Udvadanyurasana. Feet hip distance apart. This time, hands by your ears, fingertips face shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the floor away, lift up. Keep the toes pointing forward, press the feet down, engage the glutes. Do your best to straighten the arms as you move your chest towards the back of your mat. Relax the neck and the head. Breathe through this. Whenever you're ready to release, tuck your chin in first so it's the back of your head that lands and you can carefully, slowly roll all the way back down. Once you're down, bring the feet wide, windshield wipers. We'll do a fourth set, our last set, either bridge or wheel pose, our last strong pose in this practice. Bring the feet hip distance apart, whether you're doing bridge or wheel. 
for a wheel hands by the ears lift up now whether you're in bridge or a wheel you might try the one-legged variation lift the right leg up as you press the left heel down strongly switch sides lift your left leg up as you press the right heel down strongly and release if you're in wheel slowly roll down bridge you can stay an extra breath or two whenever you're ready windshield wipers last set if the wrists feel a little sore from your wheel pose you might move the hands around do some rotations let all of that go. Hug your knees into the chest. Pause a few moments and notice how you feel. Keep hugging your right knee in. Release your left leg down to the mat. Gently press the right knee towards the right shoulder. Breathe for a few moments here. Simple reclining twist. Bring your right leg across the body. Stack the hips. Relax the right shoulder and the right arm down. Look towards the right side. Soften the face and breathe. last few seconds come back to the center hug both knees into the chest again other side keep hugging your left knee in release your right leg down to the mat Reclining twist, bring your left leg across the body, stack the hips, relax the left shoulder, left arm, soften the face, and breathe. Take one last full breath, release, come back to the center, hug both knees into the chest for happy baby pose. Bring the knees wide, lift the feet up, keep the hips rooted to the mat, hands on your thighs, legs, or feet. Stay present with the sensations that come up, a few breaths here. Last few seconds. Release from your happy baby for a full body stretch. Legs on the mat, reach your arms up overhead, point your toes, take a big inhale, stretch. Exhale, let it go. Relax the entire body. Prepare for Shavasana, corpse pose. Bring the feet wider than the hips. Arms by your sides with your palms facing up. Close your eyes. Take a few moments here to scan the body for any lingering tension or gripping. Soften these areas. Relax the feet. Allow the legs, the thighs, and the hips to feel heavy on the mat. Feel the gentle movement of your belly and your chest as you breathe. Relax the arms, the hands. Feel how the fingers naturally curl in when you're completely relaxed. Soften the neck, unclench the jaw. Relax the entire face. 
Let go of controlling the breath. Allow it to flow more naturally. Know that everything you've done in your practice is enough. There is nothing else we need to do here but rest and surrender. We'll stay for a few more minutes. If you need more time in Shavasana, feel free to stay longer. 
when you're ready to reawaken, begin to deepen the breath once more. Gentle movement in the toes, the fingers. Move the head side to side. Maybe another full body stretch. Slowly bend your knees, roll over to the right side, pause a few moments here, still keeping the eyes closed. When you are ready, press away from the floor, come up to any seated pose, sit with the spine nice and tall, enjoy a few more moments of silence and stillness. Bring your palms together in front of the heart. Let's close with one last cleansing breath. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let everything go. Take this peace and mindfulness with you as you go through the rest of your day. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.